Now the Galaxy S24 Ultra is a big phone, but out of all the cases that I've tested, Pitaka's caseless case is my favorite. I said it's a big phone, and this case adds virtually no size. It also looks great and adds magnetic mounting, so it really stoked my interest in Pitaka as a brand. I really love the style of this case. It has an almost handmade feel. Now it's made of aramid fiber, but thanks to Pitaka's signature fusion weaving technique, it has a really nice texture, also adds a good amount of grip as well. I've got the sunset version here with reddish and tan hues. You can also pick it up in a moonrise color. Both of those feel really nice texture, that hand woven feel I was telling you about. But if you pick it up in black, it's super smooth with a classical Kevlar-esque kind of styling. So when Pitaka got in touch and asked to make a sponsored video, it was a bit of a no-brainer because I really like this case. But what I didn't realize is how many other products Pitaka makes. Sticking with cases, I've also got an iPhone 15 Pro Max, another oversized phone, and Pitaka's slimline case line extends to this phone. Now the first generation was really slim and looked really cool with that similar kind of woven patterning, but the second generation of Pitaka iPhone cases added more protection and stronger magnetic mounts. And you can also pick up a shock resistant case, which adds extra size, but extra drop proofing as well. Pitaka is clearly really big on minimalist design, which looks very clean, but it's also doing some great stuff, adding thoughtful flourishes to the case, and not least of all, democratizing magnetic mounting, which is really important until Qi 2 becomes mainstream in Android smartphones. One of the key things I love about magnetic mounting is the fact it levels up your phone based on what's on the back of it. Super versatile. And Pitaka's MagEasy grip is a great example of that. It's a finger loop, so really securely holds your phone in place. It also is a kickstand, so it's great for watching stuff. And the styling is well matched with the sunset finish or moonrise, depending on which case you get. Or again, you can get it in classic black. Now this is a little bit stiff when you first start to use it, so it definitely benefits from a fingernail, but the more you use it, the less stiff it becomes. And now I just really like using this on my iPhone and my S24 Ultra. Then there's a card sleeve. This has a leather-like finish, can take two cards, and it hardly protrudes beyond the camera bump on the iPhone. 15 Pro Max I've got here. This is only compatible with the iPhone though, not the Galaxy S24 Ultra, so don't pick one up if you're an Android user. My favorite Pitaka accessory out of all the ones I've tested has got to be the MagEasy Slider 2. This is a four-in-one wireless charging stand. Around the back of that there's an earbud charger. You've also got a USB-C out, and if you remove the wireless charging stand it becomes a portable power bank. Not only is this a portable power bank, it's curved at the back, it has a Kevlar finish, so it looks and feels really great. Stick it on your phone and it's the most comfortable battery pack I've ever used. Not boxy like all the other ones I've tested, it just really, really elegantly sits in the palm of your hand so you don't get too much bulk while you're charging your phone on the go. In addition, the stand swivels so you can have the phone face you comfortably and it locks in place. At the base of the stand there's also an adhesive layer which can be cleaned and reapplied. So it's super versatile and practical as well. Any drivers out there can also pick up the Mag Easy Car Mount 2, which has a magnetic force of 1.2 kilos, so your phone shouldn't be falling off, and it's made of the same aramid fiber as the cases, so it has a really nice cohesive look as well, while also charging your phone. If you have an Apple Watch or you know anyone with an Apple Watch, the Pitaka Power Dongle has got to be my must-have accessory. If you've used an Apple Watch, you'll probably know the battery life is definitely not great, so you charge that thing up all the time. The power dongle makes it easier to do on the go. If you've got an iPhone 15 series, you can just plug this into the USB-C port at the bottom and power it up wherever you are. If you don't, you can still use your laptop, any power bank, or even an Android phone, and it'll power up your Apple Watch nicely. Really, really tiny, convenient, fixed in the pocket comfortably, but also chuck it in a bag and you won't even know it's there. Better still, if you have picked up the Mag Easy Slider 2, this thing plugs into the side of it, so you've got an Apple Watch charging stand as well as all of the other things it does. Another thing I've been able to do is recycle all the packaging in the Pitaka case boxes. Now, 
I can't stress enough, all of the products I review, there are so many plastic inserts and it just is a really, really nice thing to get cardboard recycled materials. I'm gonna link through to the Pataka Planet Promise in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. And in fact, I had a chat with a team at Pataka and they were telling me how they make some of the accessories from leftover aramid fiber. So the Mag Easy grips I was telling you about, they're made from that and you would never be able to tell to look at them. Pitaka also takes a lot of pride in making sure its product quality is on point. So they're durable, they're built to last, so you don't end up having to replace your product soon, and that reduces overbuying and e-waste. Now this is a sponsored video, and if you click any of the links in the description below, I will make commission from anything that you may buy, but these are also my honest opinions as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and if you do end up picking any Pitaka accessories up, let me know what you go for. If you've got any questions about them, I'll hold on to everything that's in this video for a while. So feel free to shoot any in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer. Thanks for watching.